Hello everyone, this is Josh with Willsey's Brick Productions. Um, yeah, I'm going to kind of do a build video on this. I'll show you guys uh, the stages uh, as we build them. Uh, when I opened this, I just got right into it and didn't film me the actual unboxing. But there's the open box. There's the, the first five to do the first floor here. This is bag one, uh, just completed. Uh, so far, it's been a really cool build. Um, this is the first mini figure here, the little blacksmith. And uh, here's his dog. Came with an extra beard piece, which I'm kind of stoked about to make some other mini figs. Um, came with the blue plate separator. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, let you know. Check back in uh, each fit, each after each bag, and show you guys the progress and what it's looking to look like. And uh, yeah, we'll check back in with you soon. Thank you. All right, guys, we're back for the uh, second bag here. Um, it came along nicely. This sort of adds the the light brick, which is really cool. So one of the first ones that I've seen. I know my son's had some of his sets, but uh, yeah, it's uh, turned out really nice. Got a lot of nice details already. Got the wood here. That's really cool, and you know, it's just everything is just. I'm pretty happy with this set so far. The little wheel there, the bars in there. You know, I think it's just it's turning out really nice. It's a really cool set so far. So. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep on going. I'll start on bag three and we'll get back to you in a second. Hello again. So I know I was doing a build here. Um, so right in the middle of our build, we got a nice surprise uh, local seller here from a Facebook marketplace. Uh, just happened to get uh, these sets right here that William's going to William's gonna tell you about. We paid $200 for these four brand new sealed yeah. sets. Right here we have my favorite out of the bunch, the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle, set number 75314. Right below it, the Imperial Light Cruiser, 75315. Over here, the Lunar Space Station, 60349. And then the Batman Batmobile, 42127. Yeah, so it's definitely a really put the build off a little bit, but uh, I think uh, for 200 bucks to get these. Brand new sealed sets, and we're going to keep the Star Wars ones. We'll probably resell those eventually, the city set and the Batmobile. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a good good little break to pick this stuff up. But back home now, and uh, we're going to get back to building the medieval castle. But, yeah, this was a great little surprise here that I can't believe we got for such a good deal. So, all right, guys, we'll, I'll see you soon when I finish bag three. Okay, I'm back. I finished uh, bag three. I'm going to start on bag four. So this is where we're at so far. Here's the the forge with the sword. I can get my camera to focus there. Let's see what happens when I press on the thing here. The little light brick, which blinds the thing here. Got the steps going. So far, this has been a really fun. Just it's a great build when you're not just doing Star Wars sets that are all gray, even though there's a lot of gray in here, but. I'm really enjoying this different change of pace, even though I just got two Star Wars sets that my son and I are going to be building here. Got the little pumpkin, and I'm guessing that would be a squash they're using as the head there, the bone there for the dog. Yeah, this is a really cool set. These idea sets are really nice. Those, those designers are really awesome to come up with these. So, so far, this is one of my favorites, and it's been the one of the funnest and quickest builds, but I guess the more I build, the better I'm going to get. So... Yep, I'll check back in when I get to bag four. Alright, I just finished bag number four here. Just doing some more detailed parts. Got the anvil in there, the helmet, the little baskets, the broom, and all that stuff. Added the details to the to the brickwork on the outside here. Turned out really cool. I'm really, like I say, I'm really enjoying this build so far. It's, uh, yeah, it's going along quite well. And uh, my son's starting his uh, Bad Batch one right now. While we're watching the Bad Batch on TV. So, yeah, we're having a good time just building Legos as a family. And, yep, yeah, I'll get you updated on the when I finish bag five and get the first floor done. Okay, I just completed bag number five. Um, probably do six tomorrow. But, yeah, they got that tree done. That's a really cool looking tree with the archery piece on the back here for the little archer yeah this builds kind of long. I really really enjoy building this so yeah that's the the update so far and um, probably tomorrow we'll get back to it and finish this video even though it won't be 
be quick for you guys, but yeah, yeah, I may work on it a little bit more tonight, but finishing the first uh, floor is a good stopping point. So yeah, I guess hope you guys are enjoying the video so far, and uh, we'll get back to you later. Okay, we got another quick update here. I just finished uh, bag six, is working on the second floor interior. Looks like a kitchen space. Got a keg right there. A little pot with the some type of I guess a vegetable would be in it. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty quick little build right here. And uh, yeah, we'll get working on the seventh bag, and we'll give you another update. All right, we just finished bag eight. We got the little awning with the blacksmith's uh, sign there. Finish up some more walls. We've got the little dining area set up, the lights. And yeah, this is turning out to be a really nice set. Just wish the camera would focus, but it is what it will do at this point. So yeah, maybe we could continue on to bag eight, and I think I'm almost halfway done with this build. All right, we just finished bag eight, and uh, that's the second floor. I got all wrapped up here. Just did all the exterior details, which I, I think are quite amazing here in this old school cottage style place here. Yeah, it's turning out really good. It's been a fun build so far. Lots of details, lots of interior details. Yeah, it's just an enjoyable, relaxing Lego build. I did not, a lot of good building techniques, and yeah, I'm really enjoying this uh, whole process so far. All right, we'll get back to you here in a little while when I get bag nine done. Okay, we just finished uh, bag nine. Just doing the third floor interior here. A little bearskin rug, a little chest. Uh, looks like a little, little pin here. A little workstation from the right notes, a little candle. It's turned out pretty good. All right, I'll get back to you after 10. Okay, well, we finished uh, bag 10 here. We got the start of the roof line. We got some tiles here for the roof. Go to the window there. We got the bearskin rug. The bed. Yeah, it's turned out really nice. Uh, continue building and uh, I'll get back to you with the other bags. Start on 11 here in a second. Okay, we got bag 11 finished here. Just building the rest of the roof line. A little A-frame on the side here. Which I really like this design. It's good looking. Uh, little, little architecture features there. Yeah, everything's coming along great and uh, just going to keep going here and you'll see this after I finish the bag 12. Alright, well I guess you guys are probably waiting on another update for the bag 11 or 12, which I did finish. You can see the roof here. But um, we got interrupted again by another great marketplace score. My son's going to go over it. So, and, uh, we've got our third Imperial TIE Fighter, 75300. We've got the Mandalorian Starfighter, 75316. The fire station, 60320, Imperial shuttle, 75302, and the slave one, or Boba Fett starship, 75312. Yeah, I just got a text from that same person that we got those other items for, for a couple hundred bucks. We got all these for 140 so yeah, it was a pretty good weekend for essentially almost half off deals on retail, so I can live with that for our investment sets, even though we're keeping a couple of the other two sets to put together. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty good little haul, and uh, I'm going to get back to building this thing here, and hopefully I'll finish it, and, but I mean, if more good deals come up, I can't, can't complain. Lost Dog likes the deals. Oh, Koa. Say hi to everybody, Koa. They all like you, too. Yeah. So, all right, now he's trying to get on the couch. You know you're not on the couch, big beast. So, and there's Billy. So, but uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. I got two more bags to go, and I'll finish that. Um, medieval castle and uh, we'll see if we end up with more Legos by the end of this video. All right, see you guys in a little bit Okay, well we got bag uh, 13 done got one more bag to go which is just the knights and the Ooh, carriage and stuff But yeah, the medieval castle it's our medieval castle medieval blacksmith is It's as itself is complete. It's like an amazing looking build. It's 
probably my favorite so far. But I have a feeling the treehouse is going to end up being my favorite when we start that one here soon. Yeah. Um, yeah, but here's the just the overbill of the whole thing put together. And I've got to get a mills plate built for this thing to put it on. Just glad it has regular plates. I just put this on top and just have it textured and maybe put it on a hill or something. I don't know. But yeah, this is looking really good. Like my son just noticed the logs down inside there for a the little pit for the for the fireplace to stoke the armor and stuff like that, or the the fire to build the weapons. Right here. And the little thing to do it, and yeah, this is so cool. It's like such a fun build. It's got all these swords and stuff. Yeah, it's just got so much detail. Like got the these, little these Lego ideal sets are really cool. I really like the look that these designers put into. Forging a sword in there. Got the little anvil. A little hammer. Gotta straighten out my brickwork here. Not a very good bricklayer. Yeah, it's a bit. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this last little bag and we'll put this guy, I guess, on the edge of the city because it's gonna kind of go weird from, weird from going from the corner garage to the medieval blacksmith. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird. <laughs> Doesn't fit too weird well. Max. But yeah, this came out came out amazing. I'm glad that I saved up my v, my v, my VIP points and got this set. So, but yeah. All right, guys, I'll be back here in shortly when I finish the last one, and then William will put the video together, piece it together, and uh, we'll put it on YouTube. All right, we just completely finished the entire thing. We got the two little knights. We don't have their helmets on right now, but uh, just got the hair pieces in, and uh, yeah, it's just, it just turned out great. The little horse and the little buggy there, stagecoach, whatever you want to call it. I just set the helmets and the rest of the horse inside of it. So yeah, it's got its little wishing well here underneath the artist water well, but underneath the little apple tree. Um, yeah, got the little blacksmith sign here, the little firelight. And uh, well, so far, this is my, my favorite build that I've built. I'm really glad that we did it. And we're going to get this thing put into our Lego room here into Summersville. <laughs> Yeah, it's a quick little look at it, all finished here, and then uh, I'll build its uh, mills plate once I'm waiting on an order from uh, eBay to show up, and yeah, we'll get this in the city soon, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.